like that's why it's more frustrating for me because not only did the, all that happen she never responded to me didn't talk to me at all the past three days on top of that leaves the country thanks isabel well we're all in here because we're watching a video with apparently abel and isabel on the screen and they're not here so i guess we'll find out why where they, they went and why right. like did they get sucked in the tv i don't know poltergeist where they go what the heck this is weird Right. What's hey up, guys? guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. So, I guess we're going on here because we have a very, I don't know, exciting news. It's really exciting. We're expecting a baby. It is. <laughs> okay, okay. That's so quirky. We don't even, we don't even do any of that. Jake and Kay are together. They've been and together for seven years. They've been together for seven years. Um, they've been amazing to us and everyone in the house. My lucky number. Um, such lovely so people. Lucky. They've really helped us out with um, everything. Everything. Like between social media, emotional fucking support, like fucking financial advice, organizing your platforms, advice. everything. Like absolutely everything. They're really nice people. Um, you know, not excluding Tom. Tom is amazing as well. Mm -hmm. um, they're getting married. Whoa, um, wait, wait. They're getting what? married. Thumbnail. We went to dinner with them about a month and a half ago, and they were talking about their wedding, and we we both were just like, as a joke, like, are we invited? Like, can we go? And Jake was like, if you're able to make it, like, like he was like, I'm not gonna say no, you can't go, but if you're able to make wedding? it to fucking Dublin, Ireland, what? Like, you're, you know, I'm not gonna deny you the entrance to the to our wedding. Yeah. So, um, the next day, literally, yeah, the next day is when I booked the flight to Ireland. This was like about a month and a half ago, um, or about a month ago. Yeah. So, we're leaving today. To go to Ireland? <laughs> yes, our flight, it's at 1 30. It is, well, like, what time is it right now? It's 9.33 9 in the morning. Uh, our flight takes off at 1.30. We have to go a little bit early because um, we have to do like a couple of you know, errands before we head to the airport. Mm -hmm. But we want to let you guys know, um, we didn't get evicted. Yeah. We're leaving before the game ends. I guess you know we're going to come back like a week before the game yeah. ends, uh, the game show. But we still wanted to film a, a diary room and let you guys know yeah. what, why we're leaving and where we're going. Um, we didn't tell anybody because cap. Just you know, that's like, a lie. Cap. That's a lie. We want to do basically us. everybody, but it's me and I. I don't know. It, it was. It would have been like really overwhelming if we told everybody at the same time. It's really hard to tell your best friend, guys. Really hard to tell. Your and best friend. also, I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but like something I deal with a lot it's just kind of like when I have like ideas or projects or like thoughts, I kind of just rather keep them to myself yeah. until like. They're concrete and ready to go. Unless it's about changing Otherwise, your room. I feel like yep. the energy can be damaged. So yeah, like if we told people and people were upset or they judged us for going, it would have kind of like ruined it for us because we're so excited to go. So we were like, we're just gonna keep it to ourselves, book everything, plan everything, and then let you guys know. That's yeah, that's exactly what we did. Because we're excited and we don't want anything to. Make it not exciting. I don't know. We're fucking excited. She's never been in Europe. I've been in Europe a couple times, but I think it's dope that we're traveling together. And I don't see it as like something crazy because we're literally just fucking packing up a bag and traveling. Cause why not? Like we already live together in this house. It's like no different. We're just living more. Yeah. <laughs> more life. <laughs> Uh, but while we're in Ireland, we're also going to be visiting other cities in Europe. Yeah, and then which um, you guys can go watch our YouTube videos. Yeah. We're going to be posting we're gonna be where bloody. we're going to be traveling. We don't even know where we're going to be, uh, yeah. be going to yet. Um, we're going to be in Europe for about like two-ish weeks. There's no, there's no take Two-ish, three weeks. Yeah. Guys, there's no take it back. They're going to be in Europe living the fuck out of their lives during game show while our ass is going to be in the house that we signed a contract for actually doing the game show. So. That's true. It's only a one way. We haven't bought our ticket back. <laughs> what if we never come back? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I mean, imagine. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. These become like citizens of fucking whatever country we're in. Bonjour. Bonjour. I posted two videos to watch my YouTube uh, The Gohan has been amazing. Um, I loved it. You know, it I definitely has ups and downs. I have it's Twitch. fucking, you know, like anything in life, you know, but for the most part, it was an amazing experience. You know, I loved it. I'm never going to forget about it. Um, everyone in the house that I met and you know that I built a relationship with has been amazing. I'm grateful for it, and I learned a lot of things myself as well. So I'm very grateful for that. You know, also got to meet 
an amazing girl like Isabel. Dab me up, girl. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I thank you, Go House, for everything. Thank you for every member of the Go House. Um, a goodbye because we're leaving. But I'll see you soon because we'll be back. Damn, that was so inspirational. Right? That was... Life bro. is too short. We literally bought the flight. I was like, you want to look at flights right now? Boom, 20 minutes later, we had it. Like, okay, bro, I'll like... Doing, I'll be doing the same shit. One choice can change your life. And I'm not saying that us traveling to Europe is going to change your lives. <laughs> but I'm just trying to it put could. it into perspective. It could. It could. It really could. But I'm just trying to put it into perspective. Like, it takes one fucking decision for you to, you know, yeah. switch things up. So, switch things up. <laughs> Good boy. Damn, that's crazy. So, guys, that's my best friend. <laughs> uh, you know what? I got nothing to hide. They told me. I would, they they told, told you? They told me. But, they you know, know, inside 2020, know. they told me that they weren't going to go till uh, Friday. It oh. is. When you guys are seeing this, it will be Friday, but we are filming this on Wednesday. Um, they told me Friday. I knew too. You knew too? Yeah. I did not know you knew. They, Dang. I knew that you knew. Uh, you knew that I, I didn't know that you knew. I knew that you knew. But I, uh, yeah. Dang, so we were the only two up the loop. And Ms. Awesome, and guess what? Guess who one of these two people are? Isabel's best friend. <laughs> well, well, I did because I was back home. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So they're talking about like, the okay. room situation. I'm going to put it all out in the air. I'm just going to put it out there. Um, Turn so the whole like moving room situation seems pointless now to a point because if they, they had this plan for a month and a half so why did they need to move into a big room for storage when they could have just used one room together and if it's really to help everyone else and not just to help them then they would put all of their stuff in one room and make the means for two weeks until they left to go out of the country if that makes sense if it really was for everyone else like they said it was then everyone could have their own room basically okay second thing There's actually bedrooms, we won't even get fully into it room. we won't even no, get actually, fully no, into it no if they had if they yeah if they got this room then everyone will literally have their own room yeah literally have their own rooms if it was truly for everyone else and it wasn't for their own benefit like everything is then but hey i mean i don't even have to say that y'all see it but Who's you know the producers what? favorites the but on top of that, empty. Like, oh, no. the biggest part of me or for me is not the like not even just the room situation, not even this, not even that, but it's the principle of every single matter that has happened. I'm a big, like, principle of the matter. Like, principle of the matter is, like, it's been very selfish, and it's, like... I'm just tired of being the bad guy, and, like, y'all can take what y'all want with that. But. Nah, but it's alright, because the comments are gonna be like, Oh, look at him. Eight yeah. and happy for his about. Oh my god. Also well, and now there's only five of us to finish the game show off when, like... That's not even that many people when it started as 13. I know that. Well, I go with my whole heart, but do I agree with how things have been recently and like since joining the Go House? No, but I've been. Times time. have changed, man. You know what? Keep it a buck fifty. How do people leave for three weeks? Like, gone like that. Like, oh, did, that is my best wait, friend, did, did they mention that they're doing a wedding or did they mention that they're going for three weeks? No, they didn't mention that they're going for three weeks yet. But we know but. that they're going for well, that's what it meant because they said they're buying. No, yeah, they, no, they said they said wedding though. They said wedding, so they're going to the wedding uh, with the producers. I you know, but you know, take what you want from that, y'all. I just know a wedding, something really personal to me. I wouldn't self invite like, to my own wedding. Yeah, I wouldn't. Not my own wedding, to someone else's wedding. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because that's like some personal. But it's, what. it's annoying when someone gets so much of something and it puts you at a disadvantage. It would be different if they like it was this and that and it didn't affect us, but them leaving puts so much more work on us as individuals in this house. And yeah, my best okay. friend didn't say goodbye to me before leaving the country for three weeks. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's fucked up. Y'all can put that in the video, I'm pissed. Off camera, off camera, unless they do put it in. Can you talk about the, uh, the, moving, the moving thing? Just to give you a backstory, room? so I don't look like a bad person, because I don't want y'all to be like, she's not happy for Isabel. I'm she, I'm happy for anyone who gets to travel the world and do whatever the fuck they want. But it sucks when people can't do whatever the fuck they want because they are obligated to do stuff for the house. But whatever. What I'm like, a big part of it is I'm frustrated in general, which I've expressed and got no response to, not a reply, a read, no response, is that I let Isabel live with me for how long for like two months before we got into the go house and when it came to moving out stuff the past two days i asked her could you help 
um, pay for the U-Haul or help pay for, because it's furniture we've bought together. And also I feel like it's a common decency whenever you're living with someone to help them move out stuff they use to live. But I, she did, I asked, can you help pay for a U-Haul or a storage unit? Talked about that, did not answer. So I ended up paying for the U-Haul and then I ended up paying for the storage unit, which is $350 a month. And then the U-Haul was $100. That's like no problem, but still principle of the matter. And then on top of that, that put, that basically wasted Smitty and Ace's just time in general and like their whole day yesterday and then Smith, half of Smitty's day today just to, because I didn't have that extra help and they, as a friend, since they're so kind and wanted to help me out with it, they took on that role. But if I were to have that extra person, it just would have gone a lot smoother. But it's not fair to Smitty and Ace for them to have to do that for me because the person that I let live with me doesn't want to help me move out because she's busy packing for a trip to Europe, if that's what she was doing, but also makes a YouTube video about being bored. And it's just frustrating. Like that's why it's more frustrating for me because not only did the, all that happen, she never responded to me, didn't talk to me at all the past three days. On top of that, leaves the country. Thanks, Isabel. <laughs> Thank you. I'm frustrated. <laughs> As I, like I have, Space. I'm sorry, Space. you can't defend that. You can't. And I'm not like trying to bring it on to social media, but like the video's there, this is my natural reaction because stuff does happen behind the scenes and I just feel like I, I'm not wrong for it being human decency to help someone who has done so much for you in a, just help someone do something that like to move, to move out of basically your own place too. Why should I have to do that alone? No one should have to do that alone, especially when they have roommates. But. Well, um, wow. That was. Y'all didn't know that one. Well, y'all did. I didn't know. Y'all had to help, but. Yeah. I mean, there's not really much to say, but. We gotta keep. We not gotta, ideal. Yeah, we gotta, you know, we're gonna have to keep this thing going, you know. Um, it just sucks that, you know, they just left it out to nobody. You know, we weren't prepared, but like now, it's just like, we only could do. We can only grow from it, yeah. Well, they pretty much said that they don't have a chance of winning the 15K, so they're done with the 15K and they just evicted so themselves. Or, I just, um, why would you tell me Friday? If it's Wednesday. They say they will leave on Friday. So it's like they wanted you to know, but didn't trust you enough to tell you when. I don't know. So I don't know why they would tell you Friday and then leave Wednesday. Probably to get a natural reaction out of you, maybe, still, but wanted you to know, but want to have a natural reaction. Mm. So, in a few words, how would y'all explain how y'all feel? Not ideal. About the whole situation. It's not, or I, you know, I just don't feel the best about, cause now, it's not even that, it's just like, it just makes it harder for us to film now. Oh. Stream up. Okay, sorry, another thing. I'm not even trying to put all this out on social media, but I want y'all to know that I am reacting fairly and I'm not overreacting. Another thing too, before we switched rooms, is I asked Isabel if I could have this room because she said she didn't really care as long as she had her own room. So I said, well, then can I have this room? So I have storage, like more storage because it has like a lot of, like obviously you can see it has a lot more just like storage <coughs> apartments. And she said no, and then ended up moving into Abel's room. And so this room was empty the whole time which is kind of fucking me over. I don't really have any more to say about the situation. I'm happy for Isabel and Abel. Go pursue your dreams and travel um, and like live life to the fullest like y'all said. It just sucks the circumstances that it's in and like just for me personally, like everything that's been happening and to not get a response on helping me move, um, to not saying bye to me at all when leaving the country. It's kind of just like, I don't know, for me, I just, I, it's a lot at once. It really is. It's just a lot at once. And it sucks because it's like supposed to be your best friend. And I feel like I've said that a lot while being in the house. Like that's supposed to be my best friend. It's supposed to be my best friend. It's supposed to be my best friend. And it's just like becoming a lot. To carry. I saw this one coming even before they told me. I saw this one coming. It's kind of romantic in a way. Two uh, lovers, or let's not put a title on anything. Two people that are fond of each other. They run away together to a different country and travel the world. 
it's romantic in a sense. It makes things a little bit, a tad bit harder on us. I'm sure that the audience won't see where we're coming from considering you only know a small fraction of the truth. And because you only know that small fraction, it is easy for you guys to just pick and choose on what you like and what you want to say. You know, I, like, I'm happy that they're going to Europe and traveling. Like, that's super cool and everything. Um, I know Reagan's super, super pissed about it. She has valid reasons to be upset about it. Um, but at the same time, it's like, it's Isabel and Abel's life. So it's like they can do whatever they want. And if that's what they wanted to do and that's what they felt right in the moment, then I support them doing that because I really like both of them. But, um, you know, at the same time, I can understand why. I don't even know what to say about it, this whole situation. Um, I wish I could take a three week break off. More or less, like, if I want to go do something, have fun, I feel like, you know, I would want to do something for three weeks without having a feeling like I would have to come back. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of. It, it, it was a little like, what? Like, I mean, you're going to the producer's wedding. That's lit. You know, I'm happy for y'all. Y'all traveling the world doing big things, you know? It's just weird, because I feel like, like, I don't know who else could be able to do that. You know, like I feel. Well, I guess all of us, other all of us, felt like we had to be here more or less, because like we wanted to make sure the show was good and the show was running and whatnot. But it's like, whenever you can pick and choose if you want to be here, it's just like I don't know. That. But like, some people going for a week or like, like four days, but like three weeks, that's like, you know, I don't really know about that. It's just weird. Actually, I gotta come back. I just thought about it. They trusted me and, t and told me everything, but it's just like, how come you guys never made the effort to want to hang out with me? We, like, not a callback to the last video, but it's like, you say you trust me and everything, but you never wanted to hang out with me. You never came to our room to hang out, you never texted me. We never went out together. I'm the only person in the house you never hung out with. So like, what the hell is that about? And like, not, like, you told me you guys were leaving and not even enough to say goodbye? Like, what? Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope y'all have a great day. You know we are. Because you know we are. <laughs> you know, peace, love, prosperity. Thanks for watching today's video, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications to keep up with the last month of the Go House.